How's it going, Power Stoke Nation? My name is Austin, and welcome to the Power Stoke YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, here is my 2007 3 Power Stroke. It's got Anthem wheels wrapped in Toyo tires, one piece headlights, painted grill, 08 style mirrors with the painted skull cap. There's quite a bit done to this truck, and every single thing that I've done to it is documented on this channel. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I think you will really, really enjoy the videos coming up. So, this truck's gonna get a couple little small upgrades here in the future. Next few videos, they're gonna be pretty. Pretty basic stuff, but it's going to really enhance the look of the truck, and I'm pretty excited about it. But I've got a new toy that I want to show you guys. And when, you know, Christmas rolls around, you get a new toy, you get excited to show people. I'm excited to show you guys this one. So I got this cool little tripod thing now for my camera, so I can set you guys down and you'll be steady. It's going to be awesome. But before all that, it's time to change out these glasses. There we go. So now I got these new sunglasses on. They're actually polarized, really, really nice shades. Mrs. Power Stoke did an awesome job picking these out for me. I love them and they're very, very much like the original pair I had on this channel. If you remember, if you've been a subscriber for a long time, I had red ones. If there's some wind noise, I'm really sorry guys. I don't have a actual external mic for this camera and I don't have one of those dead cat things, I think that's what they're called. Uh, it's not really dead cat, door. I'm not putting that on my camera. But it's a little thing that goes over the microphone so that way it deadens wind noise. But if you're getting that, I really apologize. So now I'm going to bring out the toy. I'm excited to show you guys. Guys, it's a box. Alright, so some of you can read the side obviously and you already know what this is and of course I don't have a knife or scissors on me so I'll be right back all right so now that I have a knife oh, a very dull one man everything's against me right now man this thing has more zip ties than a Honda Civic what I didn't realize is today was going to turn into a major unboxing video and building a top side creeper video so I mean I'll do that but our main goal for today is fixing the EBPV on this truck because when I put it back together, it runs fine, runs great, it still drives, it's just slow as all can be. It's just the slowest thing on the road. I can't get up to speed, I can't do anything because the EBPV is stuck shut. So what that means is I didn't connect the linkage to the valve itself, so it's just sitting there shut. Now I gotta crawl back under the hood, unhook intercooler boots, and fix that. I'm going to just tie it open I think for now because I don't know if I can get it to fit back on there nicely I really hope I can because I don't, I'll do the delete kit later and I don't really want to have something ghetto tied open on my truck right now so for now I'm hopefully just going to get it opened up and I can actually drive my truck again and get up to speed just fine and not be getting crap mileage you know what I'll just save you guys the very sad slow process of assembling this top side creeper and just like that here's the top side creeper all built looks pretty good it's got adjustable height and then it's got the adjustable angle that's pretty sweet and it collapses down so I can store it in a garage nice and easy. This will make my life so much easier working under the hood of the truck. I am super excited about this. All right, guys. So it's starting to rain. I had to take a little break. That's why it's a little dark. See? Oh, this might be a little low. I'm gonna have to crank this sucker up. Okay, guys, I'm on the top side creeper. This is amazing. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh man, this is gonna be so nice to work on anything on this truck. I can now stand here, lean up over, have a nice cushion. I'm not laying across any important component, especially this plastic coolant thing. This, that, uh, that was freaking me out when I was leaning across that to get back over here for the EVPV. So now I can lean in, I'm gonna remove this, get this slid back a little ways, so that way I can reach down in there a lot easier and just reconnect the linkage. And hopefully that fixes it because this is an annoying problem. I really do love this top side creeper. This is this is a dream. I got a nice little cushion. I'm up above everything. It's pretty sweet. So down, I got my high pressure oil pump changes, you guys know. Doubt you guys can see in there very well. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. But they steam clean the engine. As you can see, it's it's pretty spotless in here. I need to get the rest of that nasty fuzz off of this here because I really just want to clean this engine bay up, possibly get those uh, ceramic coated because I know they get a little bit warm. Powder coating might work. If you guys have any experience with that, please let me know because I've got an accent color in mind and I think I'm going to do it for ladder bars, under the hood, that kind of stuff. All right, you guys, we're in the truck. We're about to go around the block real quick just to make sure that I got it right. So what I ended up doing was I took the little linkage arm and the EVPV valve itself and I pinched them together and got it pinched in the open position. And so I'm really hoping that fixed it because this thing was such a slug to drive. Even with it being a little bit less than open, it was only like a quarter turn that I got that. So this will be very interesting to see. So let's watch our boost gauge. Before I can only build about four pounds. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes! It is fixed! The power stroke is back. It is powerful right on, you guys. Yes! Oh my god, you have no idea how relieving that is for me. I was sitting here sick that that wasn't going to be the issue because it only rotated, like I said, a quarter turn. So with that, and there's this giant box behind me. I guess I could show you guys what's in there because this video ended up being very, very short. And I want to do longer videos for you guys because you guys are always asking for more. So I'm going to get turned around and I will see you guys back at the house. pretty dark out here I'm sorry about that guys but she is back to how she was about a month ago with a better high pressure oil pump okay so right here perfect this light makes it perfect can you guys see the slight color difference here this is yellowed and if it would stay this nice white Oxford white I probably wouldn't switch it out but I got a sweet little surprise Okay, what lies in this box? Oh, it's dark, dang it, this light sucks. Hang on. All right, you guys, sorry about it being next day, big scene change here. There's the truck looking good, running good again. But it was too dark last night and I didn't really have a good spot to record, so I figured you'd like to see this. what's in this box in the daylight and actually be able to see it. So as you know, I talked about the grill in this video. It's kind of yellowing. It's got some scrapes and scratches here. It's just, uh, it's gotten its use. I, I did it temporarily to get rid of the chrome because I did these black headlights. So, and I want to white out the bumper. I just got to get some vinyl for that. But what is in this box is something spectacular. All right. All right so what's in this box? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, you guys. This. This right here is the new grill for the Ford. It's a metal, you can actually hear it's metal, grill. I think it's gonna look pretty sweet. Let's just mock this up real quick. Oh yeah, you guys. <laughs> oh yes, this is gonna look sweet. So I think I'm gonna do this today because I didn't really get you guys much info on the truck, on what I did, and I couldn't really show it very well because I had both hands at the back of the engine bay, so I couldn't really grab the camera. So I figured I'd give you a little treat, throw the new grill on the truck. Let's see how it looks. Also, if there's any of you guys out there that do CNC or what is it, the hydro cutting, uh, I want to talk to you because I have an idea for what I want to do with this grill. I want to get a logo on it and I want to talk to you. So if you know somebody that does or you do, please get in contact with me because I would really, really like to do something. All right, get in the truck, pop the hood, pardon the nasty inside. This thing needs a good detailing. That'll be a video for another day. But popping the hood on this thing once again. I love this being all clean and shiny. That's super nice. So I've shown you guys how to pull these grills off a couple times. I can go over it real quick. There's four Phillips screws on the top. You pull those out and then down here, there's little clips that you just have to pry on with the flathead. You can see it better right here. You just pry on that and it should pop right out. Hey guys, new grills on the truck. This bumper is so uneven and this grill really highlights it. That'll be another video because I personally have never actually adjusted the bumper, but I know it needs to be done, so I'll have to do some research and figure it out, but I think it looks pretty sharp, you guys. Look at that. That's really nice. That's a really, really nice touch to the truck. I actually am pretty, pretty excited about this grill. So this actually brings me to the point of 
This needs to be white. What do you guys think? Really, really looking at it, it needs to be white. It just kind of, I mean, it'll match these studs, but eh, I'm not a huge fan of chrome. I like getting rid of as much chrome as I can. Hence why these badges will be black at some point soon, but I'm not sure when that is. But guys, <laughs> check that out. That is one mean looking truck. Right on. Again, if you know somebody that does hydro cutting or CNC machine, let me know, because I want to do a grill badge. I really, really want to. So please get in touch with me. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I am super excited. We got a mod done on the truck. Got the truck fixed and running great again. What do you guys think of the grill? What do you honestly think? Leave a comment below, I'll answer you. I like it, it's gonna stay on the truck. I really, really do like it, but I can't wait to get that badge right here. It's gonna look pretty good. So I'm gonna have some more mods on the way, some fun stuff. I, I wanna do power mods, but guys, they're so expensive at this point. It's injectors, better turbo, that kind of stuff. We're looking at like, I don't know, $1,200 or more for a single mod, and that's just not in the budget for me right now. So if you guys are okay with cosmetic mods, so am I. I think it'll look pretty good on the truck. I also wanted to ask you guys, <laughs> so, don't mind the rust in there, but if you know you own a Ford, you have to take your hubcap off to be able to lock your hub. So now that leaves me with, I don't really want to put those back on. What do you guys think of just getting rid of those chrome lugs and doing spike lugs? Do you think it would look pretty good? I don't know. I, I think I'm going to do it. I really do like that look. I want American Forces at some point, but I think for now I could do with this. So here's a look at the wheel with the hubcap. And no hubcap. What do you guys think? Let me know below. I really do want to know. <laughs> I like getting your guys' opinions and hearing what you guys have to say. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I got a couple more mods, like I said, on the way. I hope you had a really, really good Christmas. I hope you have an amazing new year. Thank you for watching the video. Stay stoked. I'll see you guys next time.